Hey, what is going on guys? This is Jake at That Fit Friend, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Limbs Primal 2. So three pros that I have with this model is number one, I think if you are trying to transition into barefoot shoes, this is a really good transitional model that can kind of like bridge the gap in between a shoe with a thicker midsole and a true barefoot shoe. So in like true barefoot shoes, generally you're gonna have a stack height that ranges from like three to six millimeters. If you've been wearing like a super cushioned shoe and you start wearing that style of footwear immediately, you might have a little bit more soreness and fatigue in the foot. This model has a slightly higher stack height, so it's like a good bridge in between the thicker shoe and a true barefoot shoe. So this model is built on an eight millimeter thick limbs rubber outsole, and there's also a 3.5 millimeter thick removable foam insole. The combination of these two give you a little bit more material that separates the foot from the floor and a little bit more cushion. So it does make this model a little bit easier to wear, especially for somebody who might not have the exposure to being a little bit more barefoot on a daily wear basis. So I do think this could be a good bridge model if you want to transition into more minimalist style shoes on a daily wear basis. The second pro that I have with this model is overall, I find them to be very comfortable. And now I'm not gonna lie, I actually did not like this shoe out of the box. I thought they fit really weird. I thought the sole construction was really interesting. I wasn't sure about it. But after wearing them for a few weeks, I have started to really enjoy them. I see where they are comfortable. Like the sole construction here, so the outsole basically, follows the shape of the foot. And it's really interesting because you don't have like a flatter surface. It's a little bit more round in nature. So there's a little bit of rock to it. And I'll talk about why I actually don't like that in my cons later on and with what context basically where I think that falls short. But for something like just walking, standing, and just wearing out and about on a daily wear basis, I am starting to really like the sole. It gives you like this more like natural feel, so to speak, but with a slightly more cushioned sole construction. So you don't have to go true barefoot, but you're still getting like that zero millimeter drop and like that more minimalist style footwear on your feet to deliver some comfort. The third pro that I have with this model is overall the breathability has been pretty solid. So I could see this being a pretty good like all season shoe if you want something for just more casual wear and even doing like some light walks or even like some hikes with some very light terrain. So we do have a slightly thicker mesh upper throughout the midfoot, but then up here through the forefoot and back here on the heel, we do have some breathability. So it does feel pretty nice on warmer days. And I've been rocking these with socks and without socks. And in both contexts, they have been pretty comfortable. I haven't had any slip with the insole whatsoever in regard to like sliding around inside the shoe. So overall, I do find this model to be pretty comfortable, even though it definitely took me a few weeks to acclimate and get used to. But now let's talk about a couple of cons I have with this model. So two potential cons that I could see folks having with the Limbs Primal 2 is number one, if you're looking for a minimalist shoe that you can wear on a daily wear basis and then also to work out and train in, I do not think this is going to be your best bet. Honestly, the upper construction, especially through the midfoot here, it doesn't leave a lot to be desired in regard to long-term durability. And if you're training in them, I could see the stress actually probably breaking down the shoe faster. But also with the outsole construction, we have like this rounded construction, which limits your stability a little bit for training. So if I was gonna be doing any squats or like unilateral movements like lunges, I noticed like it's pretty hard to actually stabilize the foot. So I'm not the biggest fan of that. So if you are looking for a shoe for training and working out and you want a minimalist model, I would say probably pass on this shoe. The second con that I have with this model is it just kind of looks blocky and I don't think it has the best appearance. So the toe up here is pretty thick and it almost like looks kind of clunky in nature. And then back here on the heel, this outsole wrap, it just looks very blocky as well. So in regard to appearance, I know beauty is in the eye of the beholder and you couldn't be thinking like, dude, that's a great looking shoe and you're an idiot, that's totally fair but I just don't like the appearance of it. The overall upper I think could have like a slightly lower profile look and look a little bit better for daily wear. And this outsole construction kind of looks a little bit cheap back here in the heel, especially for the price point of this model. So when chatting on the performance of the Limbs Primal 2, I'm gonna break this section into a few different parts. I'm gonna talk about working out in this model briefly, and then I'll talk about how this model does for daily wear, walking, and standing. Now, why I don't wanna to share too many thoughts on working out in this model is because number one, I actually did not like them for working out, so I didn't test them that hard. And then number two, they're not technically designed for that, so I think you'll get more out of your investment if you actually limit their wear to more casual wear. But in the context of working out, the good with this model is that the toe box is plenty wide for allowing your toes to fully splay. And number two, it is pretty comfortable and I could see it being a good model for like body weight training or for some very casual work where you're not needing a ton of stability. The bad with this model in regard to working out 
is the outsole construction and how rounded it is. I could see this being limiting in regard to giving you a lot of stability. So if you are training heavy or more seriously, this could be an issue and a limiter in regard to your performance. And the upper, I think, isn't the best for working out in regard to a durability, especially when it comes to abrasion. Now, in the context of daily wear, walking, and standing, I do really enjoy this model. It gives you a nice natural feel with a nice amount of cushion. So on days where I don't feel like wearing a true barefoot shoe, I have been reaching for this model because it does have a bit more cushion, but it still delivers that like zero millimeter heel toe drop and that slightly more minimalist feel that I want. So I think if you are somebody who wants this model for walking and standing, I think you'll like the overall comfort. Now I will say you may not be used to the rounded outsole like I was, so I would say give it a couple of weeks to kind of acclimate to that. But after you acclimate and get used to this model, it does feel pretty comfortable. And I do like the breathability of the upper and how it walks that fine line between giving you enough breathability for warmer days, but then also enough material to keep the foot warm in colder months. So overall, I think if you want a shoe for walking, standing, daily wear, and even wearing out for some light hikes and you want something that's minimalist in nature, the Limbs Primal 2 could be a great option to explore. So now let's answer the question, who should invest in the Limbs Primal 2 and who are they best for? So I think this model is definitely gonna be best for the person that wants a minimal issue for daily wear, but doesn't wanna go like true barefoot and you want a little bit more cushion and stack height to separate your foot from the floor. So this model gives you that nice zero millimeter heel toe drop that a true barefoot shoe would have, or just going barefoot for that matter, but with a little bit more cushion. So it does give this model a slight edge in that context. So again, I think if you're transitioning into barefoot shoes, this could be a good model to explore because it is gonna give you a little bit more cushion and give you a slightly more comfortable ride if you don't wanna necessarily go true barefoot shoe or true barefoot. So in regard to sizing and fit for the Limbs Primal 2, I think most folks should be safe going true to size in this model. The length fits true and the width of the toe box is pretty good. So it should accommodate a wide variety of foot anatomies. Now, a couple of notes with this model sizing is the midfoot is pretty tapered. So if you have a wider or flatter midfoot, that could definitely be something to look into. And also I would highly suggest looking at limb sizing chart before investing, because that sizing chart pretty much breaks down what sizes to go with in all of the different models. So that is super helpful. I personally have like a neutral slash narrow width foot with a slightly higher arch. I personally like the midfoot, but again, if you have a flat or wide midfoot, I could see this model being problematic for you. So in regard to price for the Limbs Primal 2, you can expect to pay $105 USD. I think if you are investing in this shoe for daily and just casual wear, and you want a model that's a little bit more minimalist in nature but has some cushion, then that price point could be fair. However, this model is gonna lack some of that versatility that other minimalist shoes and barefoot shoes can have, especially in the context of working out and daily wear. So if you want a shoe for that, then I find the price point to be a little bit of a miss because it is gonna lack some of that versatility. All right, now let's go over the weight heel to toe drop and insole in the Primal 2. So for my size 10 model here, we have a weight of 8.3 ounces. The heel to toe drop in this shoe is zero millimeters. And this model, once again, has that 3.5 millimeter thick removal foam insole. All right, so now let's cover the construction of the Limbs Primal 2. Up here on the toe box, we have a reinforced layer here. The upper construction in this model is a microfiber open weave mesh. So that extends the entirety of the shoe. As you can see, we have a mesh here that's a little bit more thick in nature with some breathability down here in the forefoot, midfoot, and back here in the heel. The heel is a little bit thicker in nature compared to the midfoot and forefoot in this model. Looking at the midfoot, we have five core eyelets that wrap up, a tongue here that has a loop to help lock that tongue down, and we have some limbs branding on the top. I have never had issues with the tongue rolling at all, so I do like the tongue security in this model. Looking at the outsole here, we have a limbs rubber outsole. So once again, the outsole for the shoe is eight millimeters thick, and it has like this more rounded construction. So we do have that limbs natural shape last in this model. And so as you can see, like it doesn't have a ton of stability, but I do think that does contribute to this model's overall comfort for daily wear, walking, and standing, which I've mentioned already in this video. Back here on the heel, we have an external loop to help pull this shoe on. And then looking at the insole, we have a 3.5 millimeter moisture wicking polyurethane insole. And overall, that's pretty much the gist of this model's construction. It's relatively simple in nature. The tongue is not gusseted in this shoe. And if you have any other additional questions on this model's construction, drop a comment down below. All right, guys, that wraps up my review of the Limbs Primal 2. This model is interesting. It has definitely taken some time to grow on me, but I see where they fit into different contexts. 
If you have any additional questions on the Primal 2, drop a comment down below or reach out to me personally, whichever you prefer. And as always, guys, drop a like on the video, drop a subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.